So while the Super Bowl is obviously on the forefront of everyone's mind, in a little over a month, a new season will begin, the free agency season. And just like every other team in the NFL, the Patriots have tendencies in how they like to do their shopping. They'll often avoid the big name player, rather taking a chance on a guy maybe coming off a rough year or injury. Thus, they get a bargain price. And for any free agent joining the Patriots, they have to conform to an established culture of nearly 20 years under Bill Belichick, with no exceptions. Well, I think the biggest thing coming here is coming with no expectations, with an open mind, and just trusting, trusting Coach Belichick. It's, everything he's done is proven. You know, a lot of times you get young coaches and you've been in the league for a long time and you feel like you know things, but Coach has been coaching for like 47 years, so you know when he says something, you know, you, it's easy to buy into it because every single guy on the team buys into it. And I think the biggest thing is I just came in, I did my job, and I was, I just, I was my same, I'm the same person every single day. I think, uh, you know, that was a big thing for me coming in because, you know, they've, they're a lot of guys on this team have been here for a while. So it, for me, it was about coming in here, working as hard as I can to, you know, prove to these guys that they can hold me accountable on Sundays and, you know, that I can fit into this offense, be a part of this team, help them win. So during the offseason, during the, you know, the offseason training, all that kind of stuff, you know, I just made sure that I worked as hard as I could. So, you know, I've never been a numbers guy and I've never been a stack guy because, you know, that's just not how I made it in this league. I made it in this league playing special teams. I mean, there's, you know, a lot of good players on this team and, you know, it's tough to spread the ball around to everyone. So I know that, you know, my you know, targets, whatever you want to call it, are going to be limited. But as long as I take advantage of those and, you know, when they come, um, you know, I'm able to make plays when, you know, when the, the opportunity presents itself, you know, that's, you know, that's what it's about. I was at a point in my career where I had to reprove myself uh, as a player because the last two years were so garbage with injuries and just being, you know, not myself. And I also wanted to win. So those aren't necessarily two of the same paths. And if you can get as close as you can to, you know, to the two, um, that's what it's been. You know, it's it's not always going to be, you know, maybe the, the place where you're going to know your role, where you're going to always do the same thing or be doing what you had done in the past, but it's a place that you're going to win, and, you know, coach is going to put you in a good, a good position to succeed. And while they're not batting anywhere near 1,000, it's clear that New England hit on most of their offseason additions. And the biggest question now is who will they decide to keep? Most notably, both Chris Long and Martellus Bennett, unrestricted free agents this offseason.